AP, Beijing, the business that puts together Apple Inc. its iPhones issued an apology on Thursday for what it claimed was a technological glitch that resulted in employee complaints over the payment of wages promised to recruit them to a facility subject to antivirus limitations. After workers claimed that Foxconn Technology Group compelled them to do extra labor in order to earn the better salary promised by recruiters, demonstrations broke out on Tuesday in Zhengzhou, the country's capital. After thousands of workers protested unsafe working conditions by walking out last month, Foxconn is attempting to restore its workforce. Videos posted on social media showed cops striking and clubbing protesting workers while wearing white protective suits. A firm statement added, we regret for a computer input error and promise that the actual salary is the same as agreed and the official recruitment posters. Try its best to actively solve the issues and legitimate requests of employees, it pledged. The conflict arises as the country's Communist Party, which is in power, attempts to control an increase in coronavirus infections without closing factories, as it did in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic. Its strategies include closed-loop management, in which staff members live on-site and are cut off from the outside world. Eight districts in Zhengzhou with a combined population of 6.6 million were ordered to keep everyone inside for five days on Thursday. In what the local authorities referred to as a war of annihilation against the virus, daily mass testing was mandated. Apple had previously issued a warning that iPhone 14 deliveries would be delayed after workers in the Zhengzhou factory walked out and access to the area around the facility was suspended due to outbreaks. Employees claimed that Foxconn offered 25,000 yuan, $3,500, for two months of work to entice new employees, which is close to 50% more than what news reports claim the company's highest wages to be. According to anonymous recruiting agents quoted by the finance news outlet Kalyansh, Foxconn gave up to 10,000 yuan, $1,400, to new workers who opted to quit. In a statement released by Foxconn on Thursday, it was stated that departing employees would get undefined care subsidies. For those who stay, extensive support was guaranteed. Public discontent over restrictions that have forced millions of people indoors is the cause of the protests in Zhengzhou. Social media videos depict locals removing barricades that had been erected to control neighborhood closures. The new Taipei City, Taiwan-based Foxconn Corporation previously denied claims made online that infected workers were found living in factory dormitories.